Oh, tremendous. Yeah, I was just asking, you know, and they would anyways, but just to give him the, um, the love that he deserves. I mean, you know, we ran, we ran him the whole third, and I'm saying, all right, do I keep him in and get two more points? Uh, if we win this game, you know, uh, so we keep him in and he finally gets the record. I was, I was relieved to get the win, and I was relieved for him to get the record tonight, 2,000-plus points, 1,000-plus rebounds. 500-plus uh, assists, it's just uh, remarkable what he's done. Um, I know I'm very biased. I admit that wholeheartedly. The MVP isn't even a competition. I mean, th there's other great players. I'm not saying they're not great players. But what Nikola Jokic has done this year with this team, with everything we've had to go through, is incredible. And he was good last year, and he's even better this year. So um, well-deserved. The fans gave him him. You know, the standing O, oh, his teammates did the same thing, hugs all around. And four years in a row, we've made the playoffs. So couldn't be more proud of our group uh, to get it out of the way um, tonight and not have to go into a must-win game 82 is tremendous. And I thought, oh, by the way, against a really good basketball team, we played some great basketball tonight. And uh, so that was, it was even better to get the win and play at the level we played at throughout the game. So. A uh, hell of an evening for us. And think about it, Sierra even came to the game. So <laughs> that was uh, that was an added bonus. Did you say hello to her? No, I, I talked to the guy she was with. I didn't get his name. Know yeah, yeah. No, it was really nice. You know, I saw Buddy Black after the game. Obviously, good luck to the Rockies this year. They have a season opener tomorrow. Spoke to him for a little bit after. Met Russell quickly after the game. So uh, Denver Sportsman is on fire right now. And I'm just really, like, Fortunate and blessed to be a little bit like a small part of it. Oh, it says a lot. I mean, it's uh, it's everybody's goal when they start the season. Everybody says, well, you know, we want to be a playoff team, and obviously, not everybody's able to do that. So, for us to do it four years in a row is tremendous. Uh, our challenge is going to be: can we be four years in a row getting out of the first round? You know, we're not a team that is just satisfied with making the playoffs. You know, we've we've had playoff success. We're the only other team aside from Milwaukee that's advanced out of the first round the last three years. And you know, that's going to be our challenge and motivation as we move forward. Coach, when you put Nicola back in at the fourth quarter, he missed a couple shots and also started racking up a couple assists. When you were watching that happen, when he was looking for that two points, what were you thinking when he was going for that shot? I was thinking, score so I can get you the hell out. <laughs> no, really, I, I, I was. You know, because you always talk about, like, you know, messing, like, messing with the game. And the, last, the one thing I don't want is Nicola to get hurt. You know, but this is, you know, think about that, man. No one ever, TJ, no one ever has gotten 2,000, 1,500. And he did. He just did. It's amazing. So I wanted him to get that. Uh, we can figure out what we're going to do last game of the season. Um, you know, but I was just like, score, don't get hurt. Let me get your hell out of the game. And they, were, they double teamed him every freaking time. And I, only, I told Zach Zarr, but we just give him two free throws so he can get the record. So anyways, we got it. Right. Yeah, it's so rewarding. I mean, like, uh, would you like it easy at times? I'm sure. I mean, but it makes it that much more gratifying when you can achieve things that no one else has given you a chance to achieve, whether it's being down 3-1 in a playoff series and to do it two times in a row, to go to Western Conference Finals, to come back last year and win a series without your starting backcourt, uh, to come back uh, this season after everything we've been through without two max players and to have 48 wins at this point. Um, uh, it, it's something that we pride ourselves on. You know, uh, you know we're, we're not the talk of the, the, the nation. That's fine. We don't care about that. We just care about each other, do our job. And uh, when things are looking uh, the most adverse, we find a way to come together and, and, and find solutions and find a way to break through that door. And this season is just another example of that. So could not be more proud of a group of guys. Um, and like I said, you know, we, we have a lot of work in front of us. When does it get easy? Or do you feel like you take at least a small breath before getting ready for the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, you know, one of your goals was to make the playoffs, obviously. Um, it was great to finally get a home win. You know, that's, that's one thing that's been really bothering me is that our home record this year is not where it needs to be. Um, love the fact that we win on the road. Um, but yeah, you, you, I think in this business, you know, uh, I grew up in this business, 
If you don't find time to celebrate the small victories, what the hell are you doing it for? If it's just all gloom and doom and after wins, you don't enjoy it for a little bit, then I'm going to retire, man. I mean, I'm going to go work at Wellworks Brewery or serve beer somewhere because you have to enjoy the moments in life. And this is a special moment, making the playoffs and Nikola Jokic making history. Well, I'm going to go home, make sure my youngest daughter is home in bed, and uh, I'll probably have a glass of chocolate milk and go to bed. <laughs> What's going through your mind when Nicole gets his head opened up in the first minute of the game? It seemed like that would be like the yeah. worst case scenario. And do you think he would even need to wear the headband in the playoffs? Yes. So good, I tell you, I was surprised how good he looked with it. I wasn't sure. It, I, I don't know if it was a good look, but it's better than I thought. <laughs> um, I tell you, I, I don't know if you guys remember this. My first thought was Steve Nash in that playoff series. And they, they couldn't stop the bleeding. And I think it was against San Antonio, maybe Western Conference Finals. And this is when Steve Nash is a perennial MVP candidate or winner. And they just couldn't stop the cut. And I'm saying, of all games, Nicola gets uh, on, on a very non-malicious non play, elbow, inadvertent elbow to the head, and he's bleeding. I'm saying, not tonight. And then I'm putting pressure on Dan and Jason, like, get a staple gun out here, get something, <laughs> stop the bleeding. And uh, so, it was able to, uh, to finally stop, and, and Nicola put on a, another MVP performance. I don't know. You see, you, know, you see when you try to enjoy the moment, and you got somebody <laughs> that wants to go to game number 82. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Obviously, uh, we, we have a lot of time with the whole playing thing now. It's great to not have to worry about that. We have a week to get ready for the playoffs the following weekend. Um, so we'll think about that in the next couple of days, Harrison. But uh, I'm excited, man. Congratulations, everybody. The show must go on. See you guys. Thanks, Coach.